Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. You know, I haven't talked anything about routers for quite some time, so today what I want to talk about is spiral bits because people get confused on spiral up, spiral down, and where and when they should be using them. So uh, today that's the topic, so let's get started. The first thing to know is what direction router bits travel when they're installed in your router. And every manufacturer that I've ever seen of any router, on the base they will put an arrow that will tell you what the direction of the router bit is going to travel. And I've highlighted these so that you can see them a bit better. And of course the same thing is true for CNC machines, uh, it will travel in the same direction. So the four router bits I'm going to be demonstrating today, first of all, are the up spiral. That's a down spiral. This is something called a compression bit. You may not be familiar with that. And the last one is something new I'm trying out. Uh, it's a down spiral, but it's a fine finish bit. One of the reasons that people get confused about whether a spiral bit is up or down is because when it's in a handheld router or in a CNC machine, the bit tip is down. But when it's in a router table, the bit tip is up. So remember that when they're naming these, they're typically, the tip is in a down position. So let's have a look at this up spiral router bit. So this is an up spiral bit, and the way you can tell that is when the bit is spinning, it's driving all of the wood fibers and the wood chips in the up position, up the shaft. This next bit is a down spiral, and you can see that the flutes in this bit are wanting to drive the, everything down. All the wood fibers and wood chips are going to be sent down the shaft of the rotor bit. This next bit is called a compression bit and that's because it has both down spiral and up spiral and the transition is right at that point where my pencil is. So from the tip of my pencil on down it's an up spiral and from the tip of my pencil up it is a down spiral. So what that means is the top part of the shaft is driving the wood chips and fibers down. The very bottom of this bit is driving the wood fibers up. So where you would use this is if you were drilling through or routing through a board, the bottom of the board, as long as the bottom is below that transition line, as long as the bottom of the board is here and the top is anywhere up here, you're going to get a clean cut on both the top and the bottom. And there you can see how that top of that router bit is driving down and the bottom of that router bit is driving chips and fiber up. This is another router bit that I'm trying out today. Uh, this is called a fine finish down spiral. And if you look closely, you'll see that there's some very shallow flutes that are added to the side of this. And the point of that is to give you a little bit finer finish. And we'll show you that later on when we start doing some cuts. And there's what that bit looks like. And you can see how it's driving. It's a down spiral. So it's driving all the wood fiber and the wood chips down. There's a lot of routing of different bits on different pieces of wood. I'm not going to show you all of it. I'm, I'll show you a couple of representative clips uh, and then we'll look at the end results. So you can see I've got all three boards set up. This one I had to put uh, something to stabilize it underneath because it's too floppy. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some freehand cuts. And the cuts that I'm going to make are going to look like this. They're going to be um, like that, but quite a bit smaller. And that way we'll get cross grain, we'll get long grain, and we'll get an idea of a circle as well.
So let's have a quick look at the really thin material, this 1 8 material. And you can see from the up spiral, look at the tear out. And that's typical because all the chips, everything is coming out. So it's coming up through the wood here and it's tearing out and you can see it's tearing out like crazy. Now the down spiral on the other hand, look at how clean that is and that's because all the chips and everything are going down. But when we look at the back, we can start seeing a little bit of tear out on there and maybe a little hard for you to see, but you can see that there's some tear out there and that's typical. That's what you will get with a down spiral going through like that. Now the last one is the compression bit and you can see that on the front it's very crisp, very clean, but look at on the back, it's also clean and crisp on the back and that's what a compression bit will get. There's a tiny little bit of tear out here and there, but almost nothing. Now the other one, the last bit that we use, the fine cut bit, Bit, you'll notice that it's also very crisp, nice and clean, uh, but there will be a little bit of tear out on the back because this is a down spiral. I don't know if you can see it. There you can see there's a little bit of tear out along there. So that's what you get from that bit. Let's move along to the next one. Okay, and this was the 3 8 material, 3 8 plywood. Uh, again, the up spiral, but it's a different kind of wood. So you can see, again, we've got tear out, and that's typically what we'll get. Now, but if we look at the back of it, you'll notice the back of it's pretty clean. See how clean it is? Some of that tear out you're seeing is... Um, is from the front. You can see how the tarot is there on the front, but the back is quite clean. The down spiral, of course, is going to be nice and clean on the top. On the back, you'll see that there's a little bit of tarot. It's actually not bad, but in there you can see that there's some tarot through there. And the last one is the compression bit. And again, it's nice and clean on the top. And because I centered it, it's nice and clean. Where is it here? <laughs> nice and clean on the bottom as well. Uh, there's a little bit of tear out from the cross grain in the middle there that you may be seeing, but um, the actual ends, the front and the back are nice and clean. And while we're here, we'll look at the fine point and there's a little bit of tear out at the back, not bad, uh, but the front, because it's a down, a down spiral, uh, the, the front is nice and clean on that, nice clean bit. Okay, and there's a close-up of the pine, and you can see the first one we did, the up spiral. Uh, look at all the tear out there, and that's typical what you'll get on, a, on an up spiral. There's the down spiral, and there's a little, because it's pine, it just... It's really hard to get clean cuts, but even on the down spiral, there's a tiny bit of, of um, tear out there, but, but mostly it's nice and clean. And the compression bit, again, it's another down spiral because the up spiral is buried deep in the wood. So in this case, it really isn't a, an advantage to have a compression bit for this unless you're cutting right through the wood. Uh, and it's down spiral. So again, it's pretty clean, as clean as you'll get with pine. Uh, now the fine finish, uh, interestingly, is probably the best of all of these. And again, it's a down spiral, so it's clean, um, but there's, I don't see any tear out there at all. It looks quite clean. Well, now you'll have a better idea which bit to select, whether it's up spiral or down spiral or even a compression, and you'll have a little bit better idea what kind of results you can expect from it. So I'll put a detailed article on Woodwork Web and it'll have all the pictures of the bits, all the pictures of all of the cuts we made front and back and all labeled so you'll be able to see exactly not only what you can get from these kinds of bits but where you might want to select one over another one. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.